Hello, welcome, we all know why you're here. Actually, I have no idea why you're here. But we're going to talk about Risa Tisa. Because she has absolutely understood the assignment in correlation to the TikTok Trends report that I keep talking about. The TikTok Trends report, you can pretty much call it almost like a crystal ball as to how it's going to shape TikTok culture and the content creation process on this app. It is an absolute goldmine for any creator who is really reaching for the stars in the TikTok universe. It's not just about what is trending on TikTok, it's also about those seismic cultural shifts. And it pretty much tells you how you need to align your compass in order to reach for those stars. It's free to download, and it also happens to be the topic on episode 46 of the Mad Marketing Mums podcast, which you can have a listen to on my bio. Anyway, let's talk about Risa. Risa is just an ordinary person who started a 50-part series called Who the F Did I Marry? She went from a few thousand followers to over a million in one week. That was last week. She's now at 2.5 million. Her 50-part series is actually a true story. She talks about how she met, fell in love, got married, and divorced her husband, who turns out to be a pathological liar. I mean, this story is nothing short of a phenomenon. It's also 50 parts. But it's really worth noting here, she, as far as I know, has not read the report. She's just said her story. But the way that she's gone about it is just hitting the nail on the head with every single point that this TikTok Trends report talks about. Anyway, let's dive right into it. The TikTok Trends report goes through three forces. These are these forces that are shifting TikTok culture. Then there's also signals that they that TikTok says are really what you need to look out for that really can help your account just climb. The three forces are curiosity peaked, storytelling unhinged, and bridging the trust gap. Curiosity peaked is all about finding out those little curiosities that you never realized you really were interested in on TikTok. We all know that's really what TikTok is all about. I, I mean, how many times have you wound up on a TikTok and you're like, wow, I had no idea about this and you just start researching about that particular topic. Risa really nails this and really grabs us with her first few words of, hello, welcome, we all know why you're here. I mean, her series has become a masterclass in getting us to stop to the, the scroll because she's piquing our interest and putting us through this narrative that we never realized that we really wanted to listen to. She's also a prime example of that entertainment without borders. I mean, I think... I don't know of anyone who could not relate to this, of that shock and awe of discovering that you're entangled with someone that you thought you knew and turns out you really didn't. And I am absolutely certain that there are many of us out here in the TikTok space that have a bad partner or have had experience with a pathological liar. Second TikTok force in this report is storytelling unhinged. I think it's pretty self-explanatory about how Reese's storytelling is really unhinged. I don't know if you can see it, but definitely when you read the report, you'll see in that what's next section right there, it says that storytelling doesn't have a beginning, middle, or end. It's unpredictable and a bunch of collective stories. Her narrative is just, it's simple, but it's raw and it's compelling. And it's just utterly unpredictable that to the point that you're like, how the heck is this possible? So much so that it's really community-fueled storytelling. Her unfiltered honesty and just being herself has really just captivated such a huge audience. I mean, so much so that she's caught the eye of Delta and they are flying her to Europe. So get ready, she's going to have a series called Risa in Europe. She's also staying true to Delulu, but not in the typical way. And yeah, I had to figure out what the hell Delulu meant. Delusional. What she's doing, she's giving us an escape from the real world. I mean, I don't know about you, but right now I'd rather be on TikTok than read the news and see what's happening all over the place. I mean, let's admit it, we all need a little bit of that escape occasionally. Risa just does it for us. And last force is bridging that trust gap. I hate to use the word authenticity, but Risa just nails it. She's just built this unbreakable bond with her audience. You feel like you're sitting in the car with her and that you are her person as she's telling you what's happening. She's sharing her story without a veil. You're seeing her get ready. You see her without makeup. She speaks our language. She gets ready with us. She's not really using any hooks or anything to just hook you in. She's really just sharing her story in such a way that we just get sucked in series after series after series. 
She really, in the end, has just embodied the essence of this TikTok Trends report. Like, if you want an example of what to do, she's it. Risa, if you happen to see this TikTok at all, while you're eating a croissant and drinking a café au lait in a café in Paris, I seriously would be absolutely honored if you came onto the podcast just for a chat. You've shown us how to be braver in 2024. And you've not only sent the benchmark for content creation for this year, but you've also shown us that ordinary people can dominate in the social space. There's really no denying about aligning with the insights within this trends report. Risa has proved that. And she's proved that in one week. So go create something unforgettable. And let's see if we can get Risa on the Mad Marketing Moms podcast. Comment and tag her if you want to see her on the podcast.